Often an overlooked aspect to a computer setup is your wallpaper. It can make or break the aesthetic of your desktop or your setup as a whole. So in this video, I'm going through five of my favorite wallpaper engine wallpapers for you to try in order to improve the overall look of your setup. More on that after the intro. Welcome to Top Spec. If you're new around here, we are your one-stop shop for weekly tech content. So if that sounds like your thing, feel free to join us by pressing that red subscribe button down below. To quickly preface this video, I've been using Wallpaper Engine for over two years now, and over that time, I've collected a couple hundred of wallpapers. So it was a little bit difficult to narrow this down to just five wallpapers, but I try to keep in mind that Many people have different color combos going on in their setups, so most of them are customizable and you can tweak the colors to your liking. Also, this is not a ranking video, this is just five of my favorite wallpapers, so don't think that I'm ranking one lower than another. All of them are pretty much about equal for me, so I'm not trying to rank one higher than any other of the wallpapers. So the first wallpaper that I picked was one that I found when I had my Vaporwave aesthetic going on with my PC, which I kind of still do with the pink and blue colors. And I know that I had just said that most of these wallpapers will apply to pretty much all PC setups, so this is the one exception. I just thought that it was too good of a wallpaper not to include. This wallpaper is called Triple Monitor Vaporwave Audio Reactive 1440p by a Steam user called Mr. Bond. However, it's very, very likely that the original artwork in this wallpaper was not created by him. I'm certain that he took this wallpaper from some website added in the little audio responsive feature. So don't think that this guy is the one who made the wallpaper, but this is one of my favorite ones. So the main reason why I suggest this wallpaper is because it looks fantastic on a triple monitor setup, especially if you have a vaporwave look going on. I used this wallpaper for a very long time. In fact, you probably saw it in many of our older top spec videos. However, I always had the audio responsive graphic disabled just because I think it made it look a little bit ugly and I'm not the biggest fan of audio responsive wallpapers, but that's just my opinion. And I promise this is going to be the one and only wallpaper that is themed to a certain color combo. I just thought that it was too perfect of a wallpaper to not include since it's a great triple monitor wallpaper if you have three monitors and it's very high resolution. The second wallpaper that I would recommend is a wallpaper that is simply called Clock. This is by the Steam user Etrivo S. Etrivas. I apologize if I'm saying that name incorrectly, but this wallpaper is fantastic because it is extremely, extremely customizable. And like I said before, I've been using Wallpaper Engine for over two years now, and this is probably one of the most customizable wallpapers that I've found on the entire workshop. I'd go into depth on all of the different customizable settings, but just to sum it up, you can pretty much change fonts and change the look of the date and time. If you wanted a simple, just date and time clean wallpaper, this one totally works. You can add a very clean looking audio visualizer. This is probably one of the few that I would actually use. Uh, and you can customize the colors of that as well. So that is wallpaper number two. Number three is also a clock themed wallpaper, but this one is a little bit different. It's got a little bit of a different aesthetic going on. This wallpaper is also by Steam user 128 byte. So in this one, you're able to change the background gradient to be either a solid or a gradient if you like that. And you also have the option to have an analog clock, a digital clock, and even a binary clock. Uh, I don't know how to read a binary clock, but I think that it looks really cool and it's really clean on your desktop. So if you wanted a really interesting looking clock. You've got that option. And I think it's really nice because it's also very customizable. It works for any setup and you've got that one big center uh, clock to choose from. You can choose the analog, you can choose the digital and you can choose the binary. So this is just a great option for a customizable wallpaper that includes a clock. And now the fourth wallpaper is one that most people that use Wallpaper Engine might be familiar with because it's constantly showing up on the featured wallpapers page. But either way, this is a wallpaper called Watching the Universe by Steam user Ho Ho Ho. This wallpaper is not necessarily customizable, but the original creator actually made several different versions in several different color variations, which is essentially just a wallpaper of a man in a top hat looking out a big window onto what seems to be a galaxy or the universe. It's really cool because you've got a red version, a blue version, a purple version, a green version, a yellow version, and some other users out there have made some other variations as well. This is a really famous Wallpaper Engine wallpaper, so like I said before, if you're a user of Wallpaper Engine, you might know this one, but I just think it's a really nice look for any setup because there are several different color options. So if you've got a red setup, you can do the red one, or a purple setup, you can do the purple one, and so on. 
And the last one on this list is one that I would definitely recommend. It is just about as customizable as the first clock wallpaper that I showed. And this is a wallpaper called Icosahedron Geometry by Steam user Senpai. Essentially, this wallpaper is a big white icosahedron in the center of your monitor with a little bit of a net surrounding it, and surrounding that is a bunch of individual white polygons. This wallpaper is great because you can pretty much do anything with it. You can get so many different looks. It allows you to upload your own backgrounds. You can change the background to be a gradient, a solid. You can change the lighting on the polygon. You can change the size of the polygon and if it's centered or if it's left aligned or right aligned. It's also an audio visualizer. So if you're into that, you've got that as well. The polygon kind of just pumps itself uh, and makes it smaller and larger whenever the music changes. And I save this one for last just because this is probably one of my favorites. This one and the time wallpaper are probably about tied for me for my number one favorite wallpaper engine of all time. So I would definitely recommend this wallpaper to you no matter what setup you've got going on. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I had just thought that making this video would be really helpful for those of you that are trying to improve the overall look of your desktop and your setup as a whole. So if it did, let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear which wallpaper you picked and if you're liking it. I'll have a link to each and every wallpaper in the description down below. So if one of them catches your eye, feel free to click that link and subscribe to it. Speaking of subscribe, we upload weekly tech videos for you on this channel. So if you like this video or any of the other videos in our ever growing catalog, feel free to join us by pressing that red subscribe button. Anyways, that's about it. I'm Connor and this is Top Spec. We'll see you next week.